James Melendez. I have three organic wines from Domaine Bosquit. We have a Cabernet Sauvignon, Malbec, as well as a red wine blend. Stay tuned and I'll tell you about these wines. Now, this wine is next. We have this uh, red wine blend. I did a previous review, the previous finish. I'll place that video right here. And so Domaine Bosquit, USD certified, pretty rare to see. And I'll point that a little closer. That's something that is, uh, you can only get that certification, obviously applying for it, qualifying for it, and adding no additional sulfites. All wine grapes in general have some trace element of sulfites, but there's no additional sulfites. And so that's the only way to get the organic certification. And uh, so the line is called Virgen, and they've just come out with a Cabernet Sauvignon and a Malbec, and I'll share those with you in a moment. And this is a 14.3% ABV wine. Now this wine is 35% Cabernet Sauvignon, 35% Malbec, and 30% Cabernet Franc. And um, I think it's a really nice wine. Often in a wine group, people are going to have a defined view on organics, organic wines in particular. And some people say some very unsavory comments, and that's unfortunate because I always say, even if there's a wine that I don't like or wine style or maybe a wine grape variety, I might say that it's not for me. I don't care for it, but it's something I'm not going to pursue. But I'm also not gonna you know, bring it down so much that I want no one else to try it. I think there's so many reasons people want organic. They want organic wines, they want organic food. They also want to make sure that's vegan oriented as well. And so many people that I know are asking for vegan wines and without a label on the back to tell me it's a vegan friendly wine, then I do not know that. And I think it's really hard to find and point out to people that are asking me all the time. So I will point out a wine like this. Going back to the point where people comment about negatively about organic wines. And I think it's really, you know, I actually, don't appreciate those comments because somebody out there really wants that needs that there's so many good qualities to this producer and uh, a passionate producer so they definitely have argent cert they have usda organic um, certification echo cert fair for life uh, there's a specific one called bpa which is called buenas practicas de agine agricola y de manufactura and uh, so that's uh, talking about good manufacturing practices and um, this is also manually harvested grapes. So all for $13. So you get a lot in this wine, and I think it's a really, I enjoy this wine very much, and I think it's a nice wine to be tasting. So I'll describe briefly the winemaking. So it is manually harvested the fourth week of March, the last week of March, as well as the first week of April, and hand harvested, of course. So the cold fermentation at 10 degrees Celsius for 48 hours, and the fermentation with selected yeast at a temperature between 25 and 27 degrees Celsius. And that's between uh, say 12 and 10 days of additional maceration. So getting color. And uh, so that's how they make this wine. So first of all, the point score on this is 92 points out of 100 points. And um, I would say this, if you wanna be tasting these wines, what I would do and suggest is you wanna open this up and before you drink it, maybe an hour before and uh, leave the cap off and uh, screw cap, which I think is really cool. You might want to just, you know, aerate this, and you might, if you have an aerating tool, or you can put this in a decanter, either or. I think that's a really good practice for an organic wine. And it blows off some of that, what I would call that savory note, that very intense savory characteristic. Sometimes it can be intense, sometimes not. Over time, it's gonna get a little more pronounced. So again, you just want to make sure you get some oxygen in the wine and uh, bringing those notes away from the wine. And uh, truly, that's one of the things you really wanna look at. So on this wine here, I'm getting a nose of bean cherry, red plum, a bit of spice rack, and savory quality to this wine as well. Next, the palate characterization. So there's a bit of that savory characteristic, both on the nose and the palate. So you get that there. It's not so intense that it's not pleasant. It's just fitting that, that profile. And it's something that I think is really enjoyable with food. I enjoy this with salmon, by the way. So this wine here is uh, giving a characteristic note of uh, black cherry, a bit of blackberry notation, baking spices of cinnamon and cardamom and uh, black pepper. So again, 92 points out of 100 points. And next is a Malbec. So when I look at this label here, this is the organic uh, Malbec and I love the capsule, this bright green coloration, the really beautiful artwork on front 
and uh, it's really speaking to this being an organic wine, being a wine that's very, very earth friendly. It's a vegan friendly wine. Uh, so many things you get from this wine line here from Domaine Bosquit. And uh, this is a 14.3% ABV wine. Earlier, I talked about the red wine blend. And often when I'm tasting organic wines or wines that are natural wines with no sulfites, to me, it really has a savory character that comes out in terms of the nose and also the flavor profile. And if it didn't have that, and it's very, very specific, I might even say it's like almost like a bread quality, nothing negative there. It's just the way a characterized wine might be in terms of an organic wine. Sulfites do change flavor, right? And so this, the idea between the natural wine movement wasn't necessarily to get away from, uh, you know, a specific leaning towards organics. It was getting to, you know, what do wines taste like 200 years ago, 300 years ago, 400 years ago? And that's a tricky question because I would say a lot of sugar, but you know, I think a lot of people want to go back to basics on wine in terms of say the natural characteristics. And so people were wanting to taste, what does wine taste like minus sulfites? And also, by the way, if it has, you know, earth friendliness to it and vegan qualities to it, that's an added bonus and a really good price point, another bonus. So if it didn't have, I would say that bread characteristic or that very, very savory note, both on the nose and the flavor profile, I might be disappointed. So I definitely want to know that wine, how it tastes with or without sulfites. This is a very high elevation site, about 1200 meters above sea level, which is about 4,000 feet above sea level, not quite a mile high, but almost. Now this is manually harvested and it's the end of March. And so when you think about it, I'm like, okay, yeah, Southern hemisphere, got it. Um, but it's fun to, to hear that and talk about that. So this has a cold maceration for 10 degrees Celsius for 48 hours, fermentation with selected yeast, and temperature between 25 and 27 degrees, 12 days and 10 days of additional maceration. The nose is really giving that savory note. But in addition to that, I'm getting a characterization of red cherry boot polish and autumnal forest. Next is the palate characterization. The palate is giving me notes of raspberry, a bit of blackberry notes, white pepper, hint of cinnamon and thyme. Again, savory quality on the palate as well. And this is 91 points out of 100 points. Next is a Cabernet Sauvignon. Now this wine's next. This is a Cabernet Sauvignon. Now this is from Tupangato, Valle de Uco, Mendoza. So this is 100% Cabernet Sauvignon and a 14.5% ABV. Wine grapes are picked the last week of March and the first week of April. The fermentation is with select yeast for temperatures between 25 and 27 degrees Celsius. And that's for 15 days, no sulfites added. And uh, so this is another a uh, fantastic find and uh, very identifiably organic, in my opinion, both on the scent and the flavor profile. Now, savory characters coming through red, black fruit notes, such as a boysenberry and uh, white pepper notes and a bit of sanded cedar notation as well. So with this wine, when you open it up, open up an hour prior to drinking, you might want to think about aerating this or even putting it in a decanter. So fresh blackberry notes, raspberry, pepper, and bay leaf notation as well. So a really nice wine. I think all the wines are really nice and something that, uh, you know, if you're not into organic wines or natural wines, this set of wines may not be for you. So I always do a quick disclaimer. If you do not think you like wines that are gonna be an organic or natural wine characterization and a savory quality is a profound component of it, it may not be for you. And if you think you have any hesitations on it, I would not consider that. But if you are open-minded and if you're really seeking out null sulfite wines, this wine is for you and you should give it a try. You're gonna find very few wines like this on the marketplace, especially for the price point. And I think it's a respectable wine. It's something to be tasted and uh, to be enjoyed. And I'm gonna enjoy, I think these wines with a variety of things. So I have three wines. I'm gonna enjoy this with um, beef as well as salmon. So that really nice oily characterization of the fish is gonna pair well with the wine. Uh, I'm gonna try that I think, with a Malbec and the red wine blend. I'm gonna try that with uh, beef. And lastly, the Cabernet Sauvignon. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with that. Maybe a chili or even a pizza might go really well with this wine. So I think it's a nice wine and this is a 91 point wine out of 100 points. Stay tuned for more wine reviews to come. I'll put more information on the producer down below. Questions and comments can be listed there. And that's where the like button is as well as the subscribe button. So please hit that button to see the latest videos that I am producing. And let's stay connected. I'm on a variety of social medias, such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress. You'll also find me on my podcast, which is Apple, Stitcher, Spotify, as well as iHeartRadio. This is a nice find. I think it's a nice program. And uh, again, if you're seeking out organic, natural, vegan wines, 
this might be for you. Thank you for watching. Stay connected. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Salud.